Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Keith here from Commander Hoop Celtic. This is your first time coming across the channel. If you could press the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up or a comment below, it would be really appreciated. So, Celtic end their Europa League campaign going into the Conference League. We ended it with three points tonight, nine points in total for the whole group. 3 2 against Real Betis. Goals from Stephen Welch, Ewan Henderson, and David Turnbull. Okay, played well tonight. We made a lot of changes. Urugidi came in right back for Jovanovic. Joe Hart was rested. Scott Bain played in goal. Left back was Liam Scales. New Beaton was captain. Stephen Welch was centre back with Liam Shaw in midfield with um, McCarthy in there as well. You know, Abada played well on the right. So it was a, there was changes at Yeti up front. And I got to the stage where we played well. There was They had a chance. They cracked the crossbar in the first half. I thought Real Betis, some of the players were absolutely disgraceful. The way they were going on. Milking the game. I thought Soro played bad in the midfield, to be honest, which is... I think he gave away reckless fouls. You know, he, he just needs a bit more time. I don't know when he's going to get into that team, but regardless of discipline, absolutely shocking. But passing wise, tracking back, he played well. James McCarthy had a decent game in midfield, I thought. You know, Shaw got stuck in. Look, if Shaw hasn't played first team football since the championship. He played a couple of pre season friendlies with Idigidi. Idigidi had an outstanding game. Right back, I think he got stuck in well, you know. Marked the players quite well on on the coming from the Betis wing, even with set pieces, defended quite well. And the same with Scales. Scales was outstanding tonight, you know. He was stuck in, fearless warrior, absolutely brilliant. And Beaton steered the ship, centre back. The two boys went down in the second half of concussions, but he played the game on. But well, the biggest worry is tonight is Koyogo. Now Koyogo was on the bench until the twenty eight till the twenty eight minute when a Yeti it was closed down the ball from the keeper and it bounced off his hamstring and looked like he pulled his hamstring and he had to come off. Koyogo was introduced into the game. Second half, middle of the second half, he had to come off because Ewan Henderson came on. With a hamstring injury, Koyogo got. He went down twice and that's not a good sign because as we know, Jota is going to be out for two to three weeks. Chances he is going to miss the, the cup final unless miracles happen. So, um... Up front, Jack Marcus is out, he yet he's out, and it looking like Quayogo is out. So who's gonna step up to the play and play up front at this rate? It's hard to say, it really is hard to say. It's a case that Celtic will put Abare as a as a centre striker and Jamesy on the right, you know, and Mikey Johnson on the left. It really is tough to say. Um the second goal was a good piece of work, a bit of tracking down from Abare into Mikey Johnson and Mikey Johnson got the assist straight into the wing, across the box, and Ian Henderson, within a minute and a half, scored his fourth Celtic goal as well. A special one as well, it's in Europe. Wasn't a full house tonight, you know, it looks like um, there was loads of seats, loads of seats empty, but whatever fans that did sing, did sing well, I know there was a portion of fans that didn't want to be protesting against the possible appointment of Bernard Higgins and they're, if they're in the rights do you want to sing or do you don't want to sing that's completely up to them at the end of the day they're a magnificent set of supporters they do a lot for the Celtic community for the, and they just want to keep pushing and pushing to make sure this appointment doesn't happen and I completely understand where they're coming from I just feel like it, with a European game we could have need the atmosphere but the boys on the pitch done quite well and then regards to the tour goal the ball got passed into Abada and it looks like the contact was made literally on the tip of the box, outside the box. But they gave the penalty. In regards to the goal that we gave away, look at the first goal, Scott Bain pulled off a good save. He was unfortunate with the rebound and it went in on him. And the second goal that Betis scored was, looked like an offside goal, but VAR looked at it again and gave the possible goal. David Turnbull's finish for 3-2 was a good penalty. Good, um, good penalty. We had a ch we had a couple of chances towards the end. Mikey Johnson was one on one, uh, got the offside trap, and then he passed on to Ian Henderson, and it didn't happen because the Real Betis player capitalised on to the pass. So look, okay, it's three points. We made a wholesale changes. Cal McGregor did come on in the second half to steer the ship, and I was I was impressed with the players tonight. Full stop. Nine points in the group. 
we beat Fernavaris home and away. We were unlucky to beat Bayern Leverkusen away. We got smoked by Bayern Leverkusen at home. And then Betis in the opening game, we done quite well. And then the final game, we got the victory over them. So we could hold our heads up high. I think we have a good chance in the, in the Conference League. It depends who we get, who our opponents can be. A couple of tough, tough teams there, Slavia Plague, um, Pack, you know. There's a couple of difficult teams in there that we could go against. But we'll find out the draw anyway. But my man of the match tonight it was a tough one. It's between Udagidi and Scales. I'd probably go Scales. I thought Scales looked quite composed, even when he came in the weekend, done well. So I'll go with Liam Scales. Regards to attacking wise, I thought Abada was outstanding tonight. So um I'm just worried about the injuries. Like that's James you out, you know. Um Jota out as well. Starfelt was rest tonight. It's just, you know, it, it's worrying times. What's going on with the injuries? The pitch did look like it was disgraceful as well. It looks like it was getting ripped up. And we have eight big games before the winter break. And obviously, if a cup final in there, and we have to play Rangers as well in the final game before the winter break. So let me know what you think of the game. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll speak to you all soon. Hail, hail.